Yeah, it's about 11 o'clock tonight. What's the day? Tuesday? Huh? Yeah, it's Tuesday the 11th, and all these people out here waiting for gas, but there's no gas at the gas pumps. So we got to go around to see if we can find some gas somewhere, because they ain't got no gas. All the gas is gone. I don't know if you can see it, but all these pumps got out of order. And this is this is a big a big gas station. Every one of these pumps got out of order on them. There ain't no gas. And this is Tuesday. Uh, yeah, Tuesday the eleventh, and they ain't got no gas. They all got a little strip on them. No gas. So eventually people just going to, they got cars now that are, um, well, I just seen on a, a post on the internet that the hackers that hacked the colonial pipeline that cut off our fuel to the Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, they said they didn't mean it caused any disruptions. They just want money, you know, but they're getting... So who, this is crazy. They're known as Dark Side. Sounds like something out of an Avenger movie. This will probably give somebody a great movie and then they can show them um, going to the Dark Side and taking it down. <laughs> but they don't realize once um, people start hacking and all this cyber criminals and crimes, eventually they'll get people that can match it and they'll get better at it and everything will be enforced cyberly if threats keep happening eventually they won't be able to hack anything because um, artificial intelligence and everything but i just uh, i talked about the gas prices the other day i just wanted to i got a little bit of video showing the gas was empty and it was so sad um, I went to the gas station last night and there's people that couldn't even leave the gas station. They're out and they got to wait on the truck to come and they're, they're probably going to have to wait there all night, miss work. And it's not bad weather, but still, you know, it's, it's a very inconvenient and it's not safe because you've got people that are riding around that are hunting for people that don't have gas. So it could be very dangerous. You know, it's, um, uh, it's just amazing how such havoc could happen from one little group that's not even in the country. You know, um, everything's so vulnerable. And then, you know, just imagine putting anything that's closer to you, internet, like putting it on your body or trying to attach your head to the internet like Neuralink, how dangerous that could be. Somebody could just hack into you. As um, I read somewhere, you know, people would be able to be saved if they could. But if they get like a chip or something in their head, it'll rule the, you won't want to be saved. It just takes your free will away. So, you know, that's why you don't need to have anything implemented in your body that's not natural. You know, I mean... Just look at the eyeglasses. Now it's blurry to me. And you get eyeglasses to help you see. But even when you're seeing, there's only a little bit a part of the glasses that has prescription. You still see the frames. You still see the other parts of the glass. If you get rain on it or anything, it's not like where you can just close your eyes and open them and see you know, once you get glasses in anything, if you have to have a knee brace or, you know, bones, anything that's not natural, it's hard to overcome the unnaturalness. So, you know, when we don't have gas, <laughs> it's not good. So, you know, not having gas is rough, you know, and uh, then everybody, <laughs> gas is the new toilet paper. You know, so if you <laughs> people go end up paying 
a lot, but it's supposed to be, I think it happened over the weekend, and it's Wednesday, and around here, just about all the gas is empty, and it'll probably be out within a couple hours, even though they're going to start bringing gas from other states. So probably by Wednesday of next week, if the flow's not overwhelmed and um, all the gas cans are being sold out. So once everybody fills up all their cars they have, all the gas cans, and they oversaturate with gas, then finally there'll be gas left in a pump so other people can pay for it. You know, and they, they're they passing... Um, gouging law so they wouldn't let it go up too high but some people have so it should stay under three dollars hopefully and some of the gas companies were making profits and it just messes everything up you know and i i just i just hope nobody ran out of gas where they couldn't get to the hospital or get to where they need like i need a haircut and uh my car's in the shop but if I go get it, am I going to have enough gas to get anywhere else? So I'm kind of scared to go anywhere. So it, um, I'm off today. But yeah, being out of gas is rough. So, you know, these dark side people, if you watch um, the Avengers, I think it's the new one that come out on Disney Plus, which is real cool. And they had a organization. They tried to be free to the people. You know, there's a lot of things that were going on in other countries where they were like refugees and treated bad. So they rose up with the super serum. I don't want to give too much away. And eventually, you know, even though their cause was just bad things happened because, you know, it's like the majority of society, you will have to go with those laws and to conform with those ways. And you can't just fight things in a bad way. You have to change. It takes time. You have to change laws. You have to get public consensus. Um, it has to make sense financially. And all those things have to go through. You can't just, you can't hit policy with a sledgehammer. It has to be a finesse, finesse operation. And the best weapon is this. <laughs> You know, that's where the laws are made. So, you know, laws are there for a reason to protect the citizens of the country and um, government, you know, and government is put in place by the divine, you know, because you have to take care of things. So we will get through this, but it's going to be aggravating, but we need to up our security on hacking and maybe even come up with some kind of international internet that's you can go to other internets if you want to but we need to have maybe a vpn for the united states that our whole network could be off like a kind of firewall so it would be even harder to get in instead of the whole world wide web um, it would be kind of backwards, but if you logged on to another country or you have, was able to access the whole web, then we had to have a whole lot more security protocol set in place in order to, to keep cyber attacks down. You know, um, people going to work so much, but somebody's working 40 years they give $30,000 and you get a little retirement, social security if it's still here, and somebody makes $100,000 hacking people, then, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that are hacking instead of trying to work for a living, you know, but um, we just got to not panic. Thank you for watching. I just want to talk about this crazy gas prices again, and um. Have a good one. Be safe. I hope you got gas. I'm about half a tank, so I got about two days left. So hopefully there's gas. You know, we like to go places. Even during the Great Depression, people left their homes and drove around in their car. But now we don't, you know, it's aggravating. Very aggravating. So quit hacking our stuff. You know, get a job like 
other people quit hacking stuff you know come up with um you got all this computer technology with hacking you could create like bitcoin or come up with formulas to cure cancer or, or create a vaccine for people do something to help people instead of trying to get money just to you know get money i mean use all that power you're doing you're trying so hard to you know make money use it for good you can still make money doing good i mean look at that person that's in the oceans they got all that plastic and they're making stuff out of it i mean it would get more support and be a longer lasting and you could build you know a dynasty of something that's going to last instead of be temperamental you know, all that great effort could really go into being something beneficial. You know, I, I know a lot of places didn't even have water and they would send people with, um, look like a big suitcase with the tools and they would just keep adding and drill like a 500 foot well and provide water to people. You know, something that simple. So, you know, just quit hacking stuff. Leave our gas alone. Give us a, let our, let us have our gas so we can get to work, get to the grocery store, buy our necessary, just try to survive. Thank you.